hello friends uh, today is my 15th presentation uh, on the subject of how to carry out risk assessment at the field levels of the configuration tables uh, it is in the context of ethics in the real estate and hospitality uh, industry what is included in this presentation uh, uh, one uh, list of activities for carrying out the risk assessment at the field level uh, of the configuration tables uh, uh, three illustrations uh, templates for risk assessment one each for the uh, design of architect function uh, interior designing and MEP function MEP design function I mean uh, activities third one is activities that can adversely impact the business uh, out of the one which are carried out here and the future references now a list of activities for carrying out the risk assessment now uh, I am uh, going to share four activities which are which need to be performed. Uh, preferably, the risk assessment should be carried out by a cross-functional team uh, comprising of uh, uh, designers, uh, relevant designer. I mean the architect or the interior designer or the MVP designer for whom risk assessment will be carried out, plus the uh, some competent person from the project team, and plus uh, the risk manager or the coordinator who is primarily a commercial function, commercial person. Now, uh, number one activity is identifying the consequences of the incorrect accessing and use of uh, field choice within the each configuration table. This uh, uh, configuration table concept has already been shared in the earlier uh, presentations and so therefore I am not repeating. So, uh, the incorrect, uh, because the incorrect accessing of the ch field choice, it can lead to uh, many, uh, uh, many consequences adverse consequences such as uh, adverse impact on the package specifications uh, or the project, uh, project package design which is being uh, taken up for design uh, impact on the BOQ quality or construction quality because the incorrect parameters gets picked up uh, adverse impact on the statutory conformances and the likely adverse impact on the project costs uh, second activity is designing of the risk assessment template for assessing the risks now uh, including the drill down of the field choices this i am going to share uh, through um, three uh, three uh, templates software programming of this assessment template uh, because it is not that easy to carry it out uh, manually and uh, populating all the field choices within the risk classification as uh, high or medium or low uh, the risk assessment uh, actually means that how do we classify the risk as uh, high level risk or medium level risk or low level risks and that's why these are shown in different colors red yellow and green uh, now I am going to share the first uh, uh, template which is which is the uh, design of the architecture function uh, in this uh, uh, the first row indicates what are the different field choices for which risk assessment is to be done the code for the field choices the parameters that influence the risk classification as high or medium or low and uh, risk classification uh, proposed uh, by uh, uh, me in this example. Now uh, here I have shown uh, 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 four or five packages such as structure, civil works, facade, external development, softscape and so, so on so forth. Uh, designers, architects, they can add many many more packages with, for example within the civil works, different kind of packages for example construction of a swimming pool or any other uh, buildings etc. Uh, now field choices given here like A01, A02, A03 are just for understanding and because this is being this is to be done in the ERP perspective uh, and these need to be coded but uh, designers, uh, architects they have the absolute freedom to change this coding as per their own uh, <laughs> norms. Now parameters that influence the risk classification is the primarily the uh, competence of the team who is conducting this in this case the cross-functional team the people who sh need to conduct this risk assessment they must be competent and experienced enough to identify the implications and consequences of you know uh, uh, things going wrong uh, software programming of the uh, so, uh, of the solution which is being proposed and it must be robust enough and scalable and third is the uh, the what is the consequence of the uh, incorrect selection of the field choice which can mean adverse impact on the business transaction to be performed and uh, how frequent how frequently the assessment is done uh, 
uh, once initially it has been done so here i have shown uh, for each of these uh, fields like structure civil facade etc etc medium uh, risks based on this assessment but uh, designers based on their own assessment risk appetite they can assign it as high or medium or low at a different field choice level this medium is just shown only for the purpose of understanding only uh, similarly for the design of interiors uh, the uh, field choices uh, the template is identical as uh, for design of architects and here i have shown uh, packages uh, field choices such as finishing furnishing and fixtures interior design equipment artworks and so on so forth uh, now within each of these uh, fields like furnishing fixtures or finishing there are different kind of uh, drill down which you can do like in the finishing it is the tiles or the marbles or the uh, wooden furniture or the lighting etc etc uh, similarly for the furnishing and fixtures and interiors and equipment for example equipment for the kitchen equipment for the gym equipment for the uh, uh, washing etc etc and different kind of artworks which are there uh, of different kind of materials and here also the uh, codes given here like b01 b02 etc are only for understanding and uh, here the risk parameters uh, with that can influence the risk classification are uh, practically same as i have explained in the design of architecture so here also the risk classification i have shown as medium but uh, interior designers based on their own assessment can always uh, you know choose uh, and classify the risk as high or medium low uh, maybe for the artwork it will be low or medium and maybe for the finishing and uh, other uh, furnishing fixtures it could be high or medium now let's look at the third template which is for the design of uh, mbb function now here also uh, the different kind of field choices are there like like external electricals internal electricals air conditioning plumbing firefighting and so on so forth there can be almost 15 20 packages uh, for which different field choices need to be configured here and just given this five examples for understanding only like you know packages like uh, civil treatment package like a uh, uh, this uh, lifts elevators uh, and uh, uh, so on so forth uh, the parameters for that influence risk are identical uh, to that of uh, design of architects and design of interiors and field classification here also i have just taken uh, for simplicity medium and here depending on that uh, uh, package uh, you can decide whether it is going to be uh, high or medium or etc uh, the ones uh, uh, those packages where the uh, strategy conformance need to be uh, uh, taken care of like firefighting etc or, or others uh, sewer treatment pollution etc they are uh, 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 one would suggest that maybe this classification could be uh, at the um, uh, high level rather than medium level now activities in case which in this risk assessment activity in case these are not performed appropriately these can certainly adverse, adversely impact the business risk now this uh, this is uh, the 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 activities which are uh, which can adversely impact the risk are like inappropriate level or position uh, of the team members uh, of the design function or the cross functional team if the if uh, if the people assigned are at the very junior level with very low understanding obviously the risk assessment will not be appropriate uh, inappropriate software development and workflows for the risk templates because once this uh, risk templates are uh, uh, developed <coughs> these need to have proper workflow from level 1 to level 2 to level 3 and so on and so forth and uh, uh, in since the number of this fields is pretty large now process can be cumbersome and inefficient in case the software development is not robust uh, third um, uh, possible uh, adverse impact is that uh, in any inadequate understanding and hence inappropriate capturing of the consequence of the incorrect accessing of the use of field and field choices so one needs to have a drill down also within the construction tables for each of the design functions and uh, non timely or non periodic review of the previously populated risk template to incorporate changes which happen in the construction tables uh, or the fields or the field choices etc so these are broadly uh, the uh, things which i want to share in this now you can refer to this uh, 
uh, my book in chapter 10 and in lecture 15d where there are more details available and uh, uh, you can see the practical examples many, many more examples uh, where even the conviction tables have also been assigned some particular number uh, which you can assign uh, uh, based on your own internet uh, uh, coding schemes now you can also refer to the one of the blogs uh, uh, related to the assessment at the field levels in the conviction tables uh, of course there are some articles on the may find some article on the facebook or the linkedin and a book you can buy uh, either from amazon.in or amazon.com thank you very much